Well, tonight an Orange County woman is locked up. Troopers say she drove under the influence and caused a crash that left two people dead. Troopers say the woman ran a red light, then slammed into an SUV, causing it to flip multiple times. The two people in the SUV, a dad and son from Colorado, both killed. News 6's Jerry Askin is speaking with the victim's family about this tragic loss. Troopers told me that accused DUI driver never should have been on the roads to begin with. This coming as I've learned that father and son that she's accused of hitting and killing actually were in Orlando for that son's college orientation. It's a pain that I never knew I could feel. Brandy Bowden is in tears, devastated. Her brother, 50-year-old Shane Lloyd, and her nephew, 19-year-old Jacob Lloyd, were killed Sunday after troopers say Leslie Garrett was driving drunk when she ran a red light, slamming into the family's car, causing it to overturn. It happened near Lake Underhill Road and Rouse Road near UCF. She was selfish. A father was there to take his son to college orientation so he could start his adult life. It was ripped away. Bowden said her nephew Jacob had just graduated high school in Colorado and was visiting UCF this past weekend with his father where he was planning to major in forensic chemistry in the fall. The driver was on probation, um, as well as having her driver's license revoked at the time of the crash. Your name, ma'am? Garrett faced the judge on Monday. Troopers told me she's been arrested on DUI charges three times in the past 10 years. That includes Sunday's incident near UCF, a case in New York, and also last July after Orlando police said she was pulled off the road near Colonial Drive and was impaired. In that case, Court records show she pled no contest to DUI. And as part of that plea deal, in February, her license was revoked for six months. It's really devastating the fact that she's had several DUIs and unfortunately um, still continues to drive that way. This can't keep happening. Too many people are dying because people are on their second, third, fourth strike. When is enough enough? Garrett is charged here with two counts of homicide, two counts of manslaughter, driving while license suspended and also DUI. Her bond was set at a little more than $702,000. Outside the Orange County Jail, I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.